In this tutorial, you will learn how to install an operating system and reformat a hard drive. Before we begin, make sure you have the operating system CD. In this tutorial, we will install Windows XP. Step 1. Shut down the computer and insert the operating system disk into the CD-ROM drive. Now, restart your computer. Once you have restarted your computer, press any key to boot from CD. Windows XP setup has begun. You must use the keyboard during this portion of the setup because your mouse will not work. Press Enter to set up Windows. Read the licensing agreement. Press the page down key to scroll to the bottom of the agreement. Then press F8 to agree. Once you complete the next step, all data on your hard drive will be removed and cannot be recovered. It is very important to back up any data you may need. Press D to continue. This deletes your existing data. Press Enter to select Unpartitioned Space, which appears by default. Press Enter again to select Format the Partition using the MTFS file system. This also appears by default. Windows XP will now erase your hard drive using a process called formatting. This process will take from 20 to 30 minutes. When XP is finished reformatting, the computer will restart and continue the installation process. Click Next to continue. Windows will ask for the product key, which can be found on the Windows XP case. After customizing more settings, Windows will take about 20 to 30 minutes to configure and restart. After Windows has restarted, it will automatically adjust the screen resolution. Click OK and then click OK again. Windows will now begin a series of startup settings, including computer and internet settings. As you complete each page, click Next to continue. Windows installation is now complete. Click Finish to exit the setup. You have now installed the operating system Windows XP, as well as reformatted your hard drive. 